File Access Policies Once a file has been uploaded to the service, you can select which users and groups have access to the file and which permission levels they should have. By default, a file inherits the access policy of the case it is associated with. If a file has been added to more than one case, the permission level taken is the highest one from all the associated cases. If a file is not associated with a case, the access policy for the file is taken from the default security policies configuration for the user who wants to view it. To change the access policy for a file, you must have the Manage Permission Level on the file. The first step is to open the file from the File section of a case, or from the Search or File section on the left side of the interface. The Users section will show all the current users who have access to the file and their permission levels. To change any of these values, you will need to put a check mark in the Override Access Policies from Cases box. With this option checked, you can now add other users, user groups or services, remove users, and change the access policies for the file. Use the drop-down menu next to the user to change their permission level. A user who has view-only access can simply look at the file contents. View and download access allows the user to see and download the file. Edit access will allow the user to edit the file information as well as view and download the file. A user who has the Manage Permission level has full access to the file, so they can view, edit, download, and change access policies for the file. Overriding the access policies for a file means that any changes to the case's users is not reflected in the file's access policies and will have to be changed manually. Let's take a look at a quick example where we have a video called Prowler Investigation that is associated with two cases, Case A and Case B. One of our users, Audrey, has view-only permission on Case A and edit permission on Case B. Therefore, on the Prowler Investigation video file, Audrey has edit access rights, since it is the higher of the two from the cases it has been associated with. In the service, users can upload media from body-worn cameras or other devices even if the file is not associated with a case yet. To allow access to these files, you can define default access policies for any files that are uploaded and not associated with a case. By default, a file inherits the access policies of the case it is associated with. If a file has been removed from all the cases it was linked to, it will use these default access policies. To set up the default access policies, go into the Configuration section and click on the Security Policies tab on top. You must be a member of the Tenant Administrator User Group to be able to access the Configurations section. To add users or groups to the list of users with permission to access files not associated with any case, click on the plus icon next to the section title and choose Add Existing Groups or Users. You can also create a new user group from here if you'd like. Select the users or groups you want to add using the checkboxes on the left and click on the Add button to grant them access. From here you can change the permission level for the users in the list. If you need to remove a user from the list, click on the X on the right side of their list entry. From the Security Policy section, you can also set who has access to delete cases and files, restore cases and files from the recycle bin, and protect or unprotect cases and files from deletion. Users can be added or removed from these sections the same way we just saw for the File Access section. Click Save to keep your changes, or hit Cancel to revert back to the previous list and access rights.